Stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me. Nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. Admit it. I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no. That was just luck. <laughs> I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. <laughs> Let's head back. Come on. Captain Deliver André and his crew must have run into some trouble. Who knew meeting the smugglers would lead to no good? I still don't understand why you can't tell me what we're doing here. Because Chevalier decided not to tell you. I thought we were friends, Liam. We are. But this is business. It doesn't concern you, Shay. Am I going too fast for you? I'm just keeping an eye on you, in case you fall down and hurt yourself. Let's not keep Chevalier waiting. I'm so sick, Peter. The space, the... Where the hell were you two? We were out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph, couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Capitaine Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Verandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? Them's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! Viens, <laughs> viens! <laughs> No irresponsible wretch. You simpleton. You rot brained cabbage farmer. Gentlemen, stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close. The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee. We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner. Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat your wounded. Take these. You'll need them. Tread with care, Shay. The Royal Navy be ready for us. Remember your training. Ready to teach him a lesson? They don't stand a chance. 
Where are your mates now, you filch rat? Talk before I bash out your brains! Keep an eye out, lads! We the pals are still out there them somewhere! Let them bury us again. left of you. Many thanks. I thought I'd be hanged. Thank you. Fortune's favor. I was saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Shane. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. This pile of mail? You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. You heard, Chevalier? This vessel is yours, Shay. Go on. Take the wheel. Some of the men you rescued agreed to join us. They should prove a good crew. I'm not so certain about their captain, but next to me you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood chain. Besides, we could use another vessel, even this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? My own ship. Your own pile of garbage, yes. Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons, she'll look as fine as anything on the Seven Seas. Shall we begin, Captain? Indeed, mate. Oh, God, no. She's a mess, but she's still afloat. And her name's the Morgan. Morgan? That silly fairy queen who ruined Merlin, the wise? Oh, she's perfect for you, Shay. The Morgan was an old goddess, the queen of war and darkness. She harvested the souls of fallen warriors. Perfect indeed. Ship. This is 
Shin! They will sink her! Let's put the Morrigan to the test, Captain Shay. Ready for battle, man. already after all. I will return to what is left of the Gepho. It's a long way home. We have repairs to do. Sing hearty, lads. Chevalier is pleased with us. Of course would you have me set, Shay? Time to report back to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. Wise words. What the hell did you do? It's... some kind of dormant virus? Emergency Shit! Hang on, I'm getting you out of there. Sorry for the rough exit. Your piece working, check. You were just an anonymous. Animus, yes? You were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shea Cormac? You work for Upstergo Entertainment, remember? Any of this ringing a bell. Your session triggered something bad, and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever? Here, take your communicator, check it if you get lost. Emergency. Now let's get out of here. Follow me. Double time. This chaos is absolutely Come your on, fault, everybody. in case you're Just wondering. Like practice in our safety drills. Everything is gonna be okay, guys. Stay... This is not a test. We repeat. This is not... What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby-trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, Miss LeMay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Ms. LeMay? Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hired to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Ms. Violet DeCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out, so I think it's only fair you help me clean it up. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Man, whoever designed this virus is a genius. Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems.
systems that regulate building functions. Melanie? The elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? Damn, yes. I'll get a repair crew on site ASAP. There's a working area server on this floor. I guess it'll have to do for now. Agent DaCosta, I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a nobody as far as I can tell. If Shay Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor. you in here. I suggest you move along. Nice 
find. If it was me, I'd snoop to see if there's any juicy stuff on it. But I might be a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> it has been a long time. Achilles! Adewale, how go things in the West Indies? Very poorly, I'm afraid. Your countenance tells me we should discuss this. Come. Who's our visitor? That's Adewale. He was a slave who freed himself, and hundreds of his brothers in the West Indies. That man's a living incarnation of the Creed. I see. You join me for some practice? Soon. I've got uh, other business first. Tell me what happened, my friend. It was terrible, Achilles. The ground shook, and the ocean waves crashed over Fort of Rest. How many were lost? Thousands. No family was left untouched. I hate to bring up practical matters at a time like this. But did Mackendall's man complete his task before the earthquake? I cannot know. Von Gaudier has not been found. He was a strong maroon, one of Mackendall's best students. Such a shame. But we cannot know if he found the site. Indeed. But if there was a temple under the waves, I doubt it is still standing. And the artifacts that showed the way? Stolen. The Templars broke in during the chaos. They seized the manuscript and precursor box. I gave chase on the sea, but lost their trail when they reached New York. Are late. Oh, what did I miss? Only the first hour of training. We're always training, Kasegawase, and we'll continue to do so. Do not waste your words. Shea abhors improvement as much as cats abhor leashes. Hey. A pity. The boy has so much potential. But so little discipline. All right. All right. What would you have me do? Well played. So, what's the challenge today? Shooting straight and true. Here, you can use these. These are yours. Well, I want you to have half a chance of succeeding. Go on. With these targets. You can take your time, but not too much. There's more work after this. Reload. Anyone can hear targets standing still. Let's see how you do on the run. Come on, hurry up. Come on, hurry up! Well done, Shay. Keep it up. You're doing all right, Shay. But don't let the others vex you. They mean well, though they'll never show it. It's 
about time you showed up. Far be it for me to keep a lady waiting. I'm no lady here. And don't you forget it. I'm your teacher. And you're better. Well, some of that is true, at least. What are we be doing? Exploring a myriad ways to end a life. You two! Make yourselves useful and watch Shay. Can you kill without being noticed? Nicely done. I am surprised. You certainly know how to handle yourself. Huh, the classic haste. Hide in it, and surprise your target when he gets caught. Stick to the brush. Be patient and you might hit your target. Hmm? You did better than I expected. Have your skills actually grown, Shay? <laughs> Do not get a swelled head over it. I would love to talk to you, Shay, but this is not the time. Shay, follow me. Time you learn to survive in the frontier. I think I've been managing well enough so far. Perhaps. But there is more I can teach you. Time for the hunt. Use all your senses together to find prey. to use what you have taken from nature. With these, you can keep your pistols close. Achilles has one more thing to show you. Say, I hear you've become quite the marksman. Generous gift. Thank you, Mentor. My ship awaits, Achilles. The people of Haiti will make good use of your supplies. I trust you will retrieve what has been lost. Lost? The Templars stole two precious artifacts. A manuscript of ancient wisdom 
and a box that allows one to understand its language. I have tracked the Templar as far as its coast, but I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. Farewell, Adiwale. Whoever controls the artifacts can access precursor sites of power. We must recover them, or none are safe. Where to? Wherever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. Plan or no plan, we choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. One lead, Shay. Let's hope it brings us closer to the artifacts. Did Sir Achilles task you with this mission? No. He tasked me to task you. We need to find what was stolen from Mac and Dal Shay. You have to recover the precursor box of manuscript. This is your mission. And what's yours? Watch your arse. Achilles doesn't really trust me, does he? Give it time, Shay. Do this for him. For us. Do much more than earn his trust. Liam, do you know what Achilles writes about? I see him in his office all the time, bent over his papers. He keeps records and accounts, studies what little is known about the pieces of evil. And of course, he corresponds with assassins on other continents. Of course. Liam, you could be a right horse's arse when it comes to assuming everyone knows the same as you. I cannot help if Achilles wants me to be familiar with our counterparts in Europe and elsewhere. Said like his favorite son. Connor's his favorite and only son. Then Achilles is heir. Connor may inherit the house, but she'll be mentor. We'll see. Whatever you say, Prince Regent of the Assassins. You call me that again. I'll throw you in the ocean. Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the ton in France. Ah, the cabbage farmers return. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our ally has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, ship. When the time comes, they will lend aid and help us fight the Templars. If only the roast beef would realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? 
Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about Le Chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in his part than you can ever hope to learn. So, Liam, what could you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. I had the honor of working with him once. I've never known anyone who'd done so much for our cause. It's much more than that. Adewale was already a legend before joining the Brotherhood. He was a pirate. The scourge of the West Indies. Rubbing elbows with the likes of Blackbeard, Woods Rogers, and Calico Jack Rackham. Calico who? Oh, read a book, will you? She'll be nearby, Captain. An English vessel, and she looks to be in trouble. That's fine indeed. Perhaps we should aid her journey to the bottom of the sea. And let's not be too haste. She's full of crown cargo. Take a look through your spyglass and see for yourself. Pretty sight. I say this is a good day to lighten King George's pockets. Be careful. A few shots should be enough to cripple her. Too much damage and she'll go down with all souls. And all spoils. We can board and loot her before the crew knows what hit them. Time. Let's border. Show them what's for, Captain. Come on, man. Fire Captain, her hold your fire. Put them all again. Don't want to sink her.
At the sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. We should strengthen the Morgan before going any further. There's a harbour master stationed nearby. We'd spend our new wealth on improvements. I didn't realize there was a brotherhood in Haiti. Yes. Francois McCandle is their mentor. He gathers many of his assassins from the Maroons. Those are escaped slaves and their children, right? They are. It's a shame, though. They escaped terrible conditions only to be killed in that earthquake. Is this the place? I see nothing but fishermen and their gear. Aye, per se and fishing go hand in hand. But it will serve our purposes well enough. The French fish these waters first, but King George is laying claim to more every year. The locals are caught in the middle. What's on your mind, Captain? My thanks for your trust, Captain. Captain, how's the wind? We should resume course to Anticosti, Captain. Indeed. The chasseur is waiting for us. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. The Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. Ships ahoy! More fishermen from Perse. Enemy ships! They're sinking the fishing boats. You must believe those fishermen strayed into the water. How this must be! And would you look at that? Right in our way, Anticosti. What say you? you? Sink every last one of them. For once, I find myself agreeing with you, Shay. Stranger things have happened. figured out for us. And maybe I'm Emperor Rome. Oh, this Caesar. 
Salt air, open skies, a man out on the ocean, it's as free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? There it is. Ah, Tikust. The chasseur should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. at Anticosti Island. Go on ahead, Shay. We will meet you at the fort. The rum here is terrible. Let me see. Take a look at this. I borrowed these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Sheikh Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Were there no charts? No... no... no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could ken Where is the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay. Let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks. done without you, kind sir.
Well, what's our next headed? Wherever this Lawrence Washington dubs is ours. Liam, you're finally getting into the spirit of things. He's a temper and a politician. What's there to like? Good. Hoist anchor. Where does Chevalier get off ordering us around like that? We're assassins, same as him. He's more experienced and he knows these waters better, Shay. That makes him in charge in these parts. Well, he commands me around back at the homestead, too. Is he a truffle pig to know land better than me? Show some respect, Shay. He ought to respect me, Liam. I stick my neck out as much as any of us. Yeah, twice as often, it seems. That's just the thing. Chevalier hangs back and thinks before making a decision. His experience has earned him that right. I wonder how much more experience I'll need before I can decide when to wake up or take action. I swear, Liam, sometimes I feel I was more grown up when we were children. We slept rough and scrounged for meat, but at least we decided where and when. Get me some speed! As much sail as you can! Here, Smith. You can guard later. Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Ah, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, 
Learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. Service, can I provide you? My thanks for your trust, Captain. Captain's at the helm! The notes of sail! Well, if we've any luck, that ship will lead us right to him. I make my own luck, Liam. And Washington is running out of his. Tops and Royals. The Red Bank in sight, sir. Good hunting ground. Can't be far now, Captain. Aye. Some there she is. Here, All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, slave owner, and a leading Templar. He lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados. I haven't been able to confirm that. Now, now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. We are on course for a collision, sir! Tops, gallants, royals, studs! New sail! Put out all... Reef the topsails and gallants! Reef the mains! Flew off gallants! There she is! All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, a slave owner, and a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados. 
but I haven't been able to confirm that. Those tops, those gallons and yeah. oils. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. Sir. Gunboat! They're Royal Navy, sir! They're not alone, sir! Give me some speed! The danger's behind us, Shay. All down! All down! Furl! Furl it all! Let go, anchor! Mates out! Let's go! We're clear, Captain. Reef! Shark no sail! Trip two. Get them along. Start on sail. Clear, Captain. Clue up! Clue up! Draw a banker!
Aye. There she is. All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, slave owner, and a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. And I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. Call in the Stutzes! Reef the mains! Blew up gallants! Warship incoming, Captain! It's a gunboat! Royal Navy! Just that ship, Captain! Oh, He's off the wind! Call it all sail! All in those halyards! He! Dangers behind us, Shay. Captain Cormac has the helm. Let out some sail. Let loose the mains. Enemy heading for us, sir. It's a gunboat. Royal Navy. You're all alone, sir. The danger's behind us, Shay. That's on sale. Roll the mains! Hold down and clue up! Blue spade sail! A blockade, Captain! Ah, this won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. Hi, Captain. Track that package and find Those Washington. Thompson Royals! Clip. Trim the yards off the wind! Sub blockade! And remember what I said, Shay. Washington must die. may have a stronger army, but I think we have to make a cold for the Jews. What's this? 
rifle. You there! Stay! Where are you? How can that be? It makes no sound. Thanks for the present, Master Washington. This is a strange surprise. Not quite what I was expecting. Now I must find Washington and interrogate him. I don't really care, but don't let the commander catch you any of the contraband. Contraband? Oh, it's Coffee. just... I need to get to Washington first, then I'll worry about the artifacts.
Brother, are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> my brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <laughs> Washington can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. <laughs> uh, you are too late, assassin. It's never too late to ruin Templar plans. Master Washington. <coughs> but my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here... <coughs> ...has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you... ...for making my end a quick one. And thank you... ...for revealing your master plan. You scheming snake. God damn it. Better hurry. We have to get to the Morgan. Liam, I hope you brought the ship around. Help! Right, let's see what you've got. Is that a shit mortar? That's not Spartan! Lawrence Washington is dead. You look disappointed. The sickly way that man looked, he would have been dead in a month anyway. Two other Templars got away. They're looking into the manuscript and box. Did they have the artifacts? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. We'll find the object later. Cheer up, Shane. It's a rare day we could sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps, but to hear Washington speak, it didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. Well, that's what he'd want you to think.
The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? It's so grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Hi. I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that. He doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. We all are. I know. But it's been months. And we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. Le Chasseur has a lead on the box. We need him and Chevalier in St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up, then. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power, what does he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, sir. I had a long talk with Adam Wally about that. He believes the box can be activated to project words or images. Like a magic lantern. What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall like cathedrals in Rome. Bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strange language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both could be lovely. See, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. Yeah, thank you. I would have just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. But that's no slight against our lasses from home. I suppose. I think Galway has the nicest ones. Fair and modest. Always willing to spot you a penny for an ale. You don't say. And then there's the maids I met in Lisbon. Destined for the convents they were. Dark-eyed and kindly dispositioned. If only I'd spoke Portuguese. Not that we spent much of our nights talking. We're almost there, Captain. Le Chasseur will be expecting us. And Chevalier. That's a small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. He's off the way. Let go, anchor.